A uh, number of years ago, uh, in the midst of some personal and family uh, issues and uh, uh, challenges, I was led, I think, by God to uh, just spend about six months uh, every day uh, in my morning devotions uh, meditating on Ephesians chapter 1. And uh, I found that to be, I, I think, one of the most uh, personally and spiritually uh, transforming uh, experiences of my Christian life. And so what, what was happening, I was uh, rediscovering an ancient Christian and also evangelical Protestant practice of uh, meditating on Scripture. And I know that uh, you've probably, you know, meditated on Scripture or uh, tried Lectio Divina. And, um, but what I was uh, groping for was a better evangelical theology for that ancient biblical practice. And as a professional teacher of theology, I've found that uh, many students and our graduates uh, have a, some struggle in, in uh, integrating an academic study of the Bible with personal spiritual growth. And uh, what I found is that meditating on Scripture, and the premise here is that uh, as a believer, as I meditate on the Bible, I'm not just reading about God, okay? I'm not just um, thinking about God, but because of our union with Christ and because we have the Holy Spirit and because the Holy Spirit actually connects us to God who is there, uh, we are in the presence of God as we meditate upon Scripture. And that, that's sort of the central uh, premise. So uh, I, I found that to, uh, it helps me overcome the sort of the head-heart issue in uh, Christian discipleship and the reading of Scripture. So I, I've found it to be just tremendously uh, beneficial, and uh, I hope you might as well.